while it moves forward in its planning for the RNC, President Trump indicating again today that the city could lose it. Our Joe Bruno has been following every step of the convention planning process. And Joe, we heard a lot from county leaders on the issue tonight, but not from the city. A lot of people, myself included, thought that this would come up during the Charlotte City Council meeting tonight. It was supposed to come up during the manager's report, but without any explanation for why, the mayor announced that the manager would no longer be giving a report tonight. There were some fireworks during the county commission meeting, however. $50,000 for cybersecurity for the Republican National Convention. That's .002% of the county's budget, but was 100% the most heated discussion during a budget straw vote for commissioners today. The notion that the president of the United States would make infantile threats to not come to North Carolina unless we exposed ourselves to the risk of infecting tens of thousands of people is an outrage. I was deeply offended. The topic more heated than normal because of the president's tweets threatening to pull the convention out of the Queen City. I don't want the RNC here. I have no shame to say it. If the president wants to go somewhere else, go. And don't let the door hit you on the behind when you're gone. Until told otherwise, the county and city are actively planning to hold the event. That's why the county manager pleaded for commissioners to keep the funding in place, which they ultimately did. If we do go forward with the RNC, we still need to make sure that we do the necessary work around cybersecurity to keep our infrastructure safe. Here's where we are with the convention. The president wants to know in a week if the RNC can move forward with full attendance. I don't want to have it where we get there and then they announce after all the money was spent, all the work was done, all the people travel in, guess what? You can't put anybody in the arena, or you can put a tiny number of people in the arena. The governor, meanwhile, is asking the RNC for a written plan on how they will follow COVID-19 protocols. It's okay for political conventions to be political, but pandemic response cannot be. While we wait to hear what is decided, at least one county commissioner is hoping Republicans will descend into Charlotte this summer and bring their wallets with them. We have a problem with the RNC coming in. I think that's, I think we can we have to be uh, uh, bigger people than that. That's not fair. They bring money like everybody else. And I, I would like to see them come here. So county commissioners being verbal on this, but Joe, you say, Nothing from city council? Well, here's the deal. They went into closed session for two hours. And before any time that before any time that the council goes into closed session, they have to give a reason why. And they said attorney client privilege to discuss a matter with the city attorney. Well, if you think back to July 2019, when before they went into closed session on that day, they said the same reason. That's why they were going into closed session. And if you remember, that's when they also discussed the RNC. So it's possible during that two hour closed session tonight that the Republican National Convention came up. But during the public portion of the meeting, it was not discussed. Erica. Yeah, so maybe they were talking about that RNC contract. Thank you, Joe.